So I'm going to assume that you've read the passage already. Which of the following is, most, is the most likely reason that the author places the word typical in quotes in line 14? Um, let's reread it. But the most typical quantum computer makes use of the spin state of the electron in a hydrogen atom. Okay, well, typical... Um, when you put things around, when you put things in quotes, you're either defining a term, or um, sometimes quotations mean that you're using the word in a sense that the word doesn't normally mean. So, and of course, I don't own a quantum computer. I'm not recording this on a quantum computer. So that's a very possible answer that the word "typical" isn't really appropriate because quantum computers are not particularly common. I don't know anybody who has one. So. Uh, let's look for something like that. Choice A, the spin-based quantum computer is actually not as common as those based on ions or electron charge. Um, well, you know, that, that may be true, um, but it does say um, that the most typical quantum computer uses, um, you know, the spin state of, of the electron of hydrogen. So the, all this does is contradict it. It doesn't explain why typical is in quotes. Uh, B, the characterization of the computer is typical, comes from a quote by Schrodinger. So that's another reason you would use quotation marks, but there are no quotes from Schrodinger in this, in this passage. Uh, C, the spin-based quantum computer uses a process more exotic than the switches used in those based on ions or electron charge. Um, we don't find anything about the nature of the switches, so that doesn't seem possible. Um, D, the author wants to emphasize the notion that quantum computers may someday become standard and commonplace. That's not what uh, quotation marks around a um, word would ever really mean, actually. So uh, then E, a quantum computer is such an innovative and unconventional computational device that it is really anything but typical. So this is one of the normal uses of uh, quotation marks in English, in American English. Uh, it's meant to um, signify that the word is not being used in its normal sense. Like I said, that's only one of the uses. Quotation or defining a term are, are some of the other ones, but choice E is definitely one of them.